What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about your view did loads or load view if you're doing things programmatically. Same concept applies. But as you see here on the screen, I see this all the time. Uh, your view did load is a mess, right? And let's back up real quick. What I'm about to talk about is kind of like coding best practice, how to structure your code. So there is some element of subjectiveness in here. You may have a different opinion. And if you do, we'd love to hear it in the comments. Let's have a discussion. But I think this is, is best practice. This is how I like to do my view did loads. So back to this being a mess, and I see this all the time in projects where view to load, you know, is like 50 lines of code. And I think your view lifecycle methods, and here's the, the moral of the story here, and you're going to see me illustrate it, should be just a list of commands. Because, you know, view to load, view will appear, that kind of happens, you know, at the beginning of the view controller's lifecycle. So that tells you what's going on uh, on, the, on the screen or on the view controller. So sure, you can see here in this mess, like, yes, I'm setting background image. Here's the programmatic setting of the background images. I'm checking for location services. Uh, you know, you're doing all that. So yeah, there are comments. You can kind of read it. But again, readability, like th this is kind of a mess in my mind. Again, I like my view to loads to read like a list of commands. So we'll go ahead and delete this. I already have this typed out, by the way. So I think it should be more like set background. Bam. Get rid of that too. And then ch check location services. Bam. So all that code should be compartmentalized. And you see, I do have these functions already down here, right? We're, we're setting our background here. Uh, here's where we're, we're checking the location authorization or location services. I think I actually got these two functions mixed up, but it, the, the point remains the same. Uh, you know, your view to load should look like this. So, and, and the reason being is it's for readability on new people coming into your code base. Uh, if you have the experience of coming into a brand new code base, you know that it's it's tough to learn the code base. So I think like when I come to this view controller and I see, okay, I'm setting the background, I'm checking location services, and I'm starting tracking altitude changes. Cool, that's what the screen's doing. It's just bam, bam, bam reads easy, it's really quick and simple to figure out what's going on, rather than having that huge 40 lines of code to try to figure out what's going on on the screen. So yeah, I wanted to put out this quick video because I've seen a ton of you did loads that just look like a mess. And uh, yeah, keep it to a, a list of commands that make it real easy to figure out what's going on on that screen. So run off, fix your view did loads, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos all the time.